Section 1-1, Variables and Expressions. Down here in the vocabulary section, Review, just wanted to, I don't want to have to rewrite all these words, so I'm going to write an, a capital A for addition, S for subtraction, M for multiplication, and capital D for division. What mathematical operation is shown in each equation? Well, we have multiplication here, subtraction, <laughs> subtraction division, and addition. Okay, so that's pretty basic stuff. Uh, make sure you're reviewing your uh, vocabulary words. Variables, a symbol. So this is one of the ones that we talk about a lot. Symbol that represents a, one or more values of a quantity that changes. Okay, and then uh, the main idea is that the value given to a variable can change or vary. That's why it's called a variable. Okay. So we have different letters that we use to describe variables. Usually we use x or y. So y is the variable in the algebraic expression 4 plus y. Okay, so it's important to understand as we talk through different mathematical operations that you're familiar with what, um, what we're talking about. Okay, so then uh, number five, circle the variables in each algebraic expression. Hold on a second. I need to adjust this a little bit. I do apologize for the, for the poor quality of the video. When I do videos at home, I have to use a document camera, and for whatever reason, it's not very clear. But that's why you have this on your um, this piece of paper yourself, so you can you can probably figure it out. Let me know if it's too big of a problem. So for problem number five, circle the variables in each algebraic expression. We have the variable x, the variable y. Now, try to work ahead of me a little bit here, so that if um, if you're understanding this, then you can check just by watching what I do right after you do it. So the third one, go ahead and do that one on your own, and same with the fourth one. You should have circled Z and Y, and then over here, you should have circled the Ws. Okay? That's it. Every time you see a letter in an algebraic expression, it represents a variable. All right? And then an algebraic expression is a phrase that includes one or more variables. A numerical expression is a phrase involving numbers and operation symbols, but no variables. <coughs> Excuse me. Write n next to each numerical expression. Okay. So a numerical expression has no variables in it. So that would be that one. Algebraic would be any expression that has both numbers and variables or just variables. If it just had an X, that would also be an algebraic expression. Okay, so that's three minutes, page one. Let's go ahead and go to page two. So we'll start doing some problems. So that was a little background. All right, and then here we have what is an algebraic expression for 18 more than a number N? Okay. 18 more than a number. More than a number would be, so this is what we're trying to figure out here. Uh, complete the table with add or subtract. More than a number, you're going to add. Less than a number, you're going to subtract. Okay. The sum of two numbers, so there's key words in each phrase that represent or that tell you what to do. The sum of two numbers, I'm going to just put a plus sign for, for adding. And then fewer than a number, that would be a subtraction okay, symbol. Circle the expression number 8 you could use to find 18 more than 6. Okay, 18 more than 6. More than, if you look back up here, more than would be adding. So we have to have some adding down here. Now we see a bunch of addition symbols here, but that's not 18 more than 6. 18 more than 6 would be this guy right there. Okay, now write an algebraic expression for 18 more than a number n. 18 more than would be n plus 18. So some number n, but 18 more than whatever that number is, would be n plus 18. All right, let's keep going. What is an algebraic expression for the following word phrase? So this is what, we're, uh, what we're, our goal is for this section. Okay, multiplication and division. Complete each sentence with add subtract, multiply, or divide. But one word is used more than once. Okay? So it's not so easy. 
So let me adjust this a little bit. Back it up. Okay. All right. So then we have the phrase 8 less than a number tells you to subtract 8. Okay. The product of a number and 4. Okay. Product means multiplication. So it tells you to what? X and 4. Okay. The product means it tells you to multiply X and 4. So X represents a number. 4 represents a number. And the product of the X and 4 means you're multiplying X and 4. Okay, the phrase the quotient. Well, the quotient means division. It tells you to divide 6 by x. The phrase n times 12 tells you to multiply. There's our double up. Multiply n and 12. And the phrase the sum of a number in n, a number n and 59, tells you to add n and 59. Now write an algebraic expression for 6 times a number n. 6 times a number n. You could use a, an x, but I want you to use a dot, a dot for multiplication, okay? Because once we start using variables, if you use x to represent multiplication, then it's going to look like 6xn, which is different than 6 times n. 6xn means 6 times x times n, okay? So we don't want to use the x to represent multiplication. All right, we're cranking right along here. Let's go ahead and... Go to page three. Actually, at the bottom of that, what well, last one was page three, but it's the second page of our notes. Page four at the bottom is page three of our notes. So, uh, hopefully, that doesn't mess you up. All right. So, in this expression, in this section, we're going to be talking about writing expressions with two operations. Okay. So, write an algebraic expression for the product of a number of x, a number x, and four. So we just did that. So let's see. Uh, let's have you do these problems. Pause the video. Do these problems, and then play the video when you're done. And then you you can uh, you can watch how I do them and see if you got the same answer. Okay. So again, pause the video now. Do problems 12, 13, and 14. Okay. <clears throat> Write an algebraic expression for the product of a number and four. 4x would be one way to write it. You could write, or you could write x times 4. Okay, so either one of those is fine. Underline the correct phrase to complete the sentence. The phrase 8 less than a certain number tells you to subtract 8 from a number or to subtract the number from 8. So 8 less than a certain number. So if that certain number is n, 8 less than would be n minus 8. And here we're subtracting a number from Oh, no, no, sorry. Bad. Subtracting 8 from a number. Okay, so 8 less than a certain number. This is the trickiest one. Students always make mistakes on these. Uh, like half the class sometimes. It's, it's n minus 8, where it's 8 less than 8 less than a certain number. For example, if you had 8 less than, I don't know, 8 less than 10, 8 less than 10 would be 2 because it's 10 minus 8, okay? So 8 less than any other number is n minus 8, okay? Number 14, cross out the expression that, expressions that do not represent the word phrase 8 less than the product of, okay? So it's 8 less than something, so it has to be minus 8, so that doesn't have a minus 8, and that doesn't either. 8 less than the product of a number and 4, the number x and 4. Okay, so 8 less than, that doesn't either. So x minus 8 is not the right one. This is the one that's the correct one. Okay? All right. Now, let's look at example or problem 4, using words for an expression. What word phrase can you use to represent each algebraic expression? So, um, think about this first one. x plus 8.1. Complete the word phrase for each expression. The blank of a number x and 8.1. The blank. Well, we see an addition symbol in there, and an addition symbol in there means that we're going to be, uh, that we're looking at the sum of a number x and 8.1. The sum. That's the sum. Okay. And then we have another one here, uh, 10x plus 9. We see a plus. The sum of, plus means sum, of 10 blank and Oh, 10 blank, a number x. So what is 10 doing to x? 10 is multiplying. 
So that would be the product, let's see, 10, the sum of 10 and a number, 10. oh, 10 times, I was looking for a different way to say that. So 10 times a number X and 9. What? Oh, and I totally messed that up. I know, I didn't think times is going to be a good word. Okay, so of, all right, sorry guys, uh, we have the product of, the product of 10, oh my gosh, yeah, the product of 10 times a number, yeah, it is times, the product of, oh my gosh, what an idiot, I'm going to just hold off on this one, I'm going to think that. 